This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the president and CEO of Mill Rock Resources, Mr. Greg Beicher. Greg, how are you this afternoon? Hi, Gerardo. Doing great. It's summer here in Alaska, and we're anxious to get out in the field. I bet you are. The last time we spoke, we talked about the fact that EMX came in at, at what was pretty much 100% premium to the share price of Millrock at that time um, and and decided to take a royalty in exchange for, for an interest in Millrock. And frankly, the technical expertise they provide along with the value of the database that we spoke about the last time as well um, is, is starting to prove itself out. You've now staked additional claims in the Good Pasture Gold District there in Alaska. And again, I got to say, even though EMX came in at 14 cents a share, I think today you trade at nine and a half cents a share Canadian. And frankly, the database has had, <laughs> I, I think, twice the current market cap of Millrock invested in it. Um, so no coincidence that it's paying dividends so quick. Can we talk about the claims um, that you just staked? Sure. Yeah, just a step back on our, our database. You know, we bought up that information uh, five years ago now, Gerardo. It uh, represents roughly $15 million worth of exploration work that was done in the big staking rush and surge of activity after the Pogo mine was discovered. We own it. Uh, nobody else has it. So it gives us a, a great uh, competitive edge uh, in the district. And, uh, you know, uh, there's just got to be more Pogo mines out of there. And that's a great mine. It's uh, mined almost 4 million ounces of gold so far. There's another 4 million laid out in front of them. And it's great grade. You know, it's almost half an ounce of gold per ton. So we know there's got to be more. Now we have a dominant land position throughout the district. Uh, and the, the land is well selected based on our knowledge, based on our database of information. So... We bought that data up for around fifty thousand dollars total five years Incredible. ago. So, uh, paying fifty thousand for something that uh, would cost uh, probably twenty million today uh, was a good deal, I think. Well, I'm looking forward to you being able to generate, and I know you've had some interest, but being able to generate uh, partners in the region because, frankly, you have a land package that that could turn into a new camp. I don't think it's a coincidence that there is now a private Vancouver-based junior that's working nearby. Um, can we talk about that a bit? It's a smart bunch of technical people that are working that area. You got to feel encouraged that you got the jump on basically everyone other than Northern Star as it relates to the claims that were staked. And now you have a junior nearby that's doing some exploration that's going to answer some questions about that particular claim block, right? You bet. And the, the name of that company is Tectonic Minerals. They announced uh, they're going public uh, here in the next couple of weeks. Gerardo, and I think you will know the people their uh, executive team uh, was the team that built Kamenak Resources and made great gold discoveries in the Yukon Territory, not too far away from the Good Pasture. And uh, that uh, company was recently sold out to Gold Corp. So now we find them coming across the border into uh, Alaska, where uh, one will see that it's all the same rocks uh, and highly prospective for gold. So. They know what they're doing, and uh, yeah, we saw them coming uh, into eastern Alaska and the Good Pasture District in particular, and so that's why we've added on uh, one of the blocks, uh, Divide. It's immediately adjacent to claims that they control, but we could see from our database that there were some really good gold showings uh, just off their property, and so we've scooped them up. But it's good to have a little uh, friendly competition and uh, I see the potential for an area play developing uh, here in the Good Pasture. Things are really heating up. To be clear and to provide context, you've staked an additional 143 claims that cover 9,235 hectares um, in the Good Pasture Mining District. That now totals, I believe it's something like 66 square kilometers of land. Is that is that correct, Greg? Yeah, that's right, Gerard. That's a good, uh, cohesive uh, land position. And well, there's more to stake out there. Uh, 
there's targets that we know from our data banks that we'd be good to cover. But at some point you have to say, okay, well, uh, we, we can't uh, stake everything right now. We need a partner. So that's the, the next step for us is we want to find someone that shares our vision that this is a district scale camp. It will be a camp one day with multiple mines. And we'd like to systematically, uh, sustainably over time, explore the entire district, moving prospect uh, forward, prospect after prospect forward to the point where it's ready to drill and then drill it. But that's going to take some pretty serious cash. And so we're looking for a mid-tier or major company partner or a private equity firm that would like to earn in uh, and share our vision and share the costs. Uh, so that's uh, the next step for us. You mentioned being excited to get back in the field. We all know that May tends to be the time in Alaska. May, June is a great time to be able to get back out there and explore. What do you have planned for this exploration season, Greg? Well, I can't wait to go look at this North Pogo claim block, uh, we call it. And, you know, this is what I just love about uh, Alaska, Gerardo. You know that the Pogo mine is situated just south of the Good Pasture Batholith. This is a large uh, magmatic intrusion of granitic composition and is thought to have brought uh, the fluids, the uh, uh, fluids that form the quartz veins that, that host the gold at, at Pogo on the south side. So the, the Pogo mine and the series of deposits on the south side of the Good Pasture Batholith. Well, you know, it just seems a very simple concept, but no one has ever really explored on the north side of the Batholith. Uh, the same host rocks are up there, the same structures that host uh, the Pogo gold mine that we know exist up there. And so we said, well, uh, no one's ever explored there, ever. Uh, so let's just stake some claims, cover our bases, and get in the field and do the first pass geochemical sampling and prospecting work. And you never know what just could pop out of that. Very simple concept. Looking forward to results from that program and details once that is ready. What else can we expect? Anything else that you'd like to add, Greg? Well, yeah, you know, uh, our West Pogo project is readily road accessible, so we can get in there really cheaply. Uh, as you know, the, uh, the main prospects on our ground are within sight of the Pogo Mine Portal. Uh, we know that uh, Northern Star, the owners of that mine, are drilling away on a new discovery that seems to be getting ever closer to our claim boundary. So we're going to go out and do some sampling and mapping on our claim block uh, while we watch uh, the drills turning on the other side of the claim boundary and just wait and see what happens. Looking forward to pictures and, of course, looking forward to first pass results. Greg, thank you so much for your time. I get the feeling we'll probably be chatting soon. You're always busy, and I know you got a host of other projects that you're seeking joint ventures and partners for. So I'm sure we'll have you back on shortly. You bet, Toronto. That'll be good. Appreciate it. Thanks for your time, Greg. Hey, thank you. Bye now.